Hey there, everybody. Friends, family, enemies, I don't know, whoever's watching this video. Wanted to make a little segment that I am titling Inside the Mind of Sean. Actually, I don't like that title. Let's try this. What's on Sean's mind? We'll stick with that one for now. For those of you who know me, you know that I'm a people pleaser. I will go above and beyond to make sure that we are good if it's something that I know about. If it's something I don't know about, it's kind of hard for me to know that there's something wrong for me to fix. It's gotten me into trouble a couple of times uh, because I don't like when someone's upset with me. I will go out of my way. I will actually lose sleep over disunity between me and another person. Even if it's someone I'm not that close to, it just bothers me when there is something wrong between me and another person. With that being said, this isolation has made it very difficult to read the needs of others because I can't see them. I can't talk to them as much as I could before. <sighs> Two hours later. Okay, I realize I'm kind of rambling on a little bit, but this whole idea of wanting to please everybody is something I've always struggled with. And I've come to the realization, time and time again, that I am not equipped to fulfill the needs of every human being. That is why the body of Christ is necessary. That is why the role of every member of the body of Christ is essential to what God wants to accomplish in this world. It is not just a pastor's job to call people and see how they're doing. It is the job of a follower of Christ to seek and, and find out. Man, that was an awkward timing for a nose itch. As I was saying, it is the job of every member of the body of Christ to reach out to people and to connect with them. So I want to give you a couple of challenges. Number one, connect with someone today, someone you haven't talked to in a while, someone that just came up in your, into your mind. Don't wait for someone to come and connect with you. We're not called to wait for people to come to us. We are called to go to people, to be Christ to others. And if the church all over the world did this, everybody would be communicating with one another. Everybody would be connecting and we wouldn't lose this sense of community just because we can't physically be in the same place together. The church is so much more than a Sunday morning or a Sunday evening service. It has to be because we have to thrive in the midst of whatever circumstance we're in. So connect with somebody. Loneliness is a real thing. Don't get me wrong. But we can do something about that loneliness. We've been empowered to move forward and be the hands, the feet, the eyes, the heart of Jesus Christ to the people around us. So be that for someone. Don't wait for someone to be that for you. Be that for someone. And if you need encouragement, send me a message on Facebook. Reach out to me. Reach out to a friend. Reach out to another pastor. Anybody. It is the job of the church to connect with one another, to encourage one another, to admonish one another. Let's keep it up, church. Let's keep being the church it might look different than it used to. Tradition might be out the door, but we can still thrive in this. I believe in you. That's what I'm thinking about.